You always pretended you were so strong. And everyone believed it. Everyone but me. You needed help. I was taking one of my late night strolls when... Huh? What is she doing out so late? Why is she texting and walking? Look out! Who was that? Oh no! Head to 208. Man suffering from collision. <gasps> Sir, um, I'm the girl you pushed out of the way and saved. I... I came to say thank you. You saved my life and I... I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do for you, really, the hospital bills or- You cannot be here without verification of your relationship to the patient. She's my sister. Oh, um, sorry to disturb you. Oh, I'm so relieved you're awake. You- J Jason? Oh my gosh, are you alright? I'm fine. Just a scrape. That doesn't look like just a- I've had worse. Worse? What could be- Stop talking so much. Look, I need your help. What? Don't let anyone know about this. Tell the school I'm away for a bit, and please, take care of Natalie. Who is- Five Galaxy Way. That's my address. Make sure she's okay. Ma'am, you must leave now. Jason is the one who saved my life? Somebody take over that base. Only 20 seconds left. We got this. Push forward. Quick strike. What? What did you do that for? I was so close to finishing- I can't believe you, Shayna. You're either wasting your time hanging out with your friends or playing video games all day. I haven't seen you crack open a book in ages. That's because you only notice when I'm doing those things. You never say anything when I'm studying. Enough is enough. Don't you see how much we work to give you everything so you can be a lawyer someday? But Dad, I don't want to be a lawyer. All that court stuff bores me, and it's just not my passion. There is no such thing as passion. Of course everyone wants to play silly games instead of doing actual work. How is this supposed to support your future? You don't understand. If I work a bit harder, I can be a professional, and they make a lot. My daughter? A gamer. Do you know what the aunts will say about you? That's it! You are banned from playing from now on! I set up a date with our firm's partner's son. Hopefully, he'll ship you up to see the true priorities in life! You set me up on a blind date. I'm not interested. Ugh! Why can't I have any say in what I want to do in life? <laughs> Five Galaxy Way. Hmm. Ten. Nine. I must be getting closer. Oh, here it is. I wonder what his house will be like. Wow, I thought he got into Skyview because he's smart. But he seems pretty well off. Sorry, you... you must be Natalie. Who are you? I'm Amanda, and I'm here because, well, your brother is... is on a field trip, and he asked me to take care of you. Are you his girlfriend? What? No, no! Oh, Aw, I knew it. You're 
you're too pretty for him. Wh what No. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my whole life. Really? You... you think that? Uh-huh. All right, Natalie. You must be hungry. Do you like pizza? Yes! Pepperoni, please! Yay! Got pepperoni. it. I'll order it right now. Here you go. Thanks. This is so good. Come on. Why won't you have any? Oh, I'm not hungry. No, you're lying. There's no way you don't want this yummy pizza. Fine, I'll have a slice. Mmm, you're right. This is irresistible. <laughs> 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 uh, yummy! Now it's dessert time! Make sure you wash your hands. Yes! Wash while singing a song. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy... Eat up! Wow, I was supposed to take care of you. But it seems you can take care of yourself pretty nicely. Yep! Ever since our parents died, Jason and I had to take care of ourselves. I... I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It happened when I was really little. Can you please tell me a story? Sure. Once upon a time, there was a princess, and... <sighs> I visited him every day to bring him to school work. I can't believe you still care about this when you're in some critical condition. No need to be a drama queen. Well, I am a Skyview queen after all. <laughs> wow, I literally think that's the first time I've ever seen him smile. <laughs> Natalie and I became the best of friends. She was like the sister I never had. <laughs> what happened to all my social media apps? I deleted them so you would stop going on your phone and playing with me. <laughs> During winter break, I still went to visit him. Is he okay? Yes, he is just very tired. I'll be quiet. Mm-hmm. Wow, he looks so peaceful when he sleeps. Not always angry like he was at school. How is he so good looking? What's that you said? Ah! Oh no, did I say that out loud? <laughs> it's nothing. You must hear that all the time. It's different when you say it. Weren't you sleeping or something? Ugh, you're so annoying! <laughs> Ma'am, this is unacceptable! Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Who knew he's just like a little kid on the inside? For some reason, I always felt forced to like Lucas. But it feels different with Jason. I just don't understand why you haven't asked Amanda out yet. This would bring our revenue up like crazy. Yeah, this is driving me crazy. Dad, can't you see? All these years you've been forcing me to act however you want me to. I don't like her. <gasps> Son, are you? Disobeying me? I'm just finally standing up for myself. Come back here! Think about the money! Is it Lucas? You have won a million dollars! Give us your credit card information so you can get it. I wish I could tell him. Let's see, what if I asked him discreetly? Hi, Amber. Hi! Um, Lucas, I have something to ask you. 
What is it? Let's say there was a girl who liked a guy, but she's too shy to tell him. What should she do? Hmm. She must be talking about Jason. <sighs> oh, I guess she should just tell him. Because what's the worst that could happen? I should have asked her earlier. It's too late now. Um, want to walk to English together? Really? Sure. What? Amanda! Is that Lucas with her? Amanda, hasn't he been your crush for forever now? To be honest, I don't really care anymore. The truth is, I never liked him anyways. Amber, you got this. They picked you for a reason. You deserve to be here. The letter said to find the director... Where is he? Uh-huh. Come in. Oh my gosh, it's you! The head of Hollywood's biggest film studio. Um, hi, I'm Amber from the short story contest. Amber. Yes, that's right. You can call me Joe. Ah, your story was amazing. Listen, we could turn your short story into a full-on production. Really? Well, sure. Yes. Let's brainstorm right now. Write down any ideas. Um, I'll try. I hope you don't find this offensive, but this place feels a bit stifling. I... I can't really think. Huh? I mean, don't get me wrong. Your office is great. It's so professional and squeaky clean here. But for me, the best stories come when I'm immersed in my thoughts, without fear of judgment. I see. Never thought about it that way before, but it makes sense. I'm going to be honest. I haven't had an epiphany for a story for quite some time, so I've been feeling stuck lately. Let's head to the cafe I work at, if you don't mind. I get all my best ideas there. A cafe? Interesting. Let's go. And this character should serve as comic relief, especially during the dramatic moments. Haha, <laughs> how clever. <gasps> it's you. If you like Frenemies, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and share it with your family and friends. It may be a small click of a button for you, but it really means a lot to us. Thank you to our YouTube members for filming this episode with us. If you'd like to join us and see sneak peeks of the next episode, join our membership. 